Uh, I was here last week and I believe we learned the perimeter of uh, plane shapes. I thought you have to use ruler or thread to measure perimeter of what plane shapes, both irregular shape and regular what shape. So today, on the other hand, we are going to learn how to use formula to calculate the perimeter of what these shapes. We have some shapes that you can use formula to you know, determine. We have rectangle, we have square, parallelogram, we also have what trapezium. So the first one we look at today is perimeters of what plane shape, which is rectangle. We start with rectangle. Remember that this class is for those that are in GSS one, GSS one only. So this is the rectangle. The rectangle has two legs and two what? Two breadth. We can call it two width. The length they are equal. Look at it. This line means this side is equal to what? This side. And this other side, the two width that are what? Equal. That's how this double line. We should have this breadth and this breadth that are equal. That is BC and AD. They are equal. AB and GC. They are also what? Equal. So, in an extension, let me use L for length. Here you can see L for length. Then this side, B for breadth. Same thing, breadth here. Here is also what? Length because they are equal. So, to prove for a formula, to find the perimeter. Now, see, perimeter of rectangle equals you sum up the two legs together, L plus L, then sum up what? The two weeks together, bread plus bread. L plus L gives us what? 2L, then bread plus bread is what? 2 bread. So, in fact, that 2 is common here, put the 2 outside bracket, let us factorize, put the 2 outside bracket, and now bring the what? L plus B. In such a way that if you used to open the bracket, 2 times L, go back to L. 2 times bread, go back what? 2 bread. So, this is the formula to find what? Perimeter of uh, Rectangle. So let's take an example. Let's take an example. Alright. Find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length whose length is 10 cm and width 5 cm. So we are asked to find the what? The perimeter of which shape is rectangle. So please, you have to understand the question. To find the perimeter of what? Rectangle. If I were you, I will draw the rectangle. It's not compulsory, but you also have to do it. So we don't know the perimeter. The perimeter has to do with the what? The total length of what? The shape. The total distance covered by the shape. This side, this side, this side, and this side. So we are told that the length, that is this longer part of it, is the length, 10 centimeters. And the width, we call it the breadth, being what? 5 cm. So applying the formula to find the perimeter. Perimeter equals what? 2 bracket what? L plus what? Plus breadth. You can say length plus width. I explained before. You can say perimeter equals to what? 2 bracket what? Length plus width. Width and breadth, they are equal. This place is width. I can call it what? Breadth. So the width or the breadth is what? Five centimeter. All right. So by substitution, anywhere you see them, put ten. Anywhere you see breadth or width, put what five. Let's pick any other formula to solve because they are same thing. So perimeter equals to two bracket. Our length is ten plus our width or the breadth. Call it what five. You add this to all because then bracket ten plus five will give us what fifteen. Then open the bracket. Two times fifteen will give us how many? 30, then our unit is what? Centimeter, because of the question, centi what? Meter. So the perimeter of this rectangle, the perimeter is what? 30 centimeter. In other way around, if you don't like using formula, since this is the shape, let me see, or since this is the shape, here is 10 centimeter. I told you that the length and length they are equal. So also see, here is also 10 centimeter. And the breadth or the width is 5. If here is 5, here is also what? 5. Calculate one of them together, add it up, you're going to get what? 30 centimeters. So we can also use this method, or you what you apply what formula. They are what the same thing. You can say 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5 we also give you what 30 centimeters. Alright, so I believe that is a big thing of. Now let's look at another shape. Let's look at another shape. Let's go to square. We are through with what rectangle. Right let's look at the square. The square is a shape whose four sides are what equal. All the length they are equal. No one is bigger than what each other. This is a square. 
this is what this is square so let, let me draw my square yours can be better so this is square all the sides of the square they are what equal so if i use the length use length throughout i use the red 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 throughout so here is length so this length is equal to what this length equal to this length equal to what this length that's not using all this line to represent that the sides are what equal so i have to find the perimeter for a square sum up all the lengths of what together like i thought we did the red angle so perimeter of the square Perimeter of the square is another shape. Length plus length plus length plus length. Length plus length plus length plus length. How many length you have there? It's four. That's the four what? Length. So perimeter of the square is what? Four n or four length. This is the formula to find the perimeter of what? The square. Remember that that of rectangle is two brackets what? A plus b. So let's take one example on this. Let's take one example on this. Example two. We are taking example one rectangle. Example two. Student, you are following me. You have to follow. Now, let's say calculate, calculate the perimeter of a square, of a square, of side, of side, 5 centimeter. Solution. Calculate the perimeter of a square, of side, Five centimeter. So this question we are asked to calculate the what the perimeter of uh, the square. You must know the shape first. That should be your utmost concern before you go ahead to solve the question. What shape are you talking about here? Is what is a square. So we now draw a square. This is what a square. Like I said, you ask us to calculate the perimeter of what a square. Which side is uh, five centimeter? So the side of the square is what five cm. So if here is five cm. This side was also what 5 cm because the square, all the sides they are equal. No one is bigger than what the other. So 5 cm. But remember the formula for finding the perimeter of the square, not apply formula. Perimeter this P equals to 4 L. The L here represents length of one side of the square. So L is 5 for centimeter. So you'll see perimeter equal to this 4 multiplied by what? Our L. Our L here is 5. Just say 4 times 5. What is the answer? 20 what? Centimeters. So that is the word. The perimeter of uh, the square, or you can, like the way it is for right angle, you can add all the what sides together. That is 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 5 cm. The answer will give you what 20 centimeters. So you can also choose to follow this pattern or what use formula. So that's the perimeter of what the square. We we'll take another shape, we we'll take another what shape. Alright, so since we have uh, learned the perimeter of a square, let's quickly go to the perimeter of a triangle. Perimeter of what? A triangle. Of course, a triangle is a shape that has what? Three sides. You can appreciate them. The one that's uh, having three equal sides, call it a equilateral triangle. A equilateral what? Triangle. The one that the uh, two sides are equal. Then that one is also called what? Isosceles triangle. Then the one that no side is equal, call it what? Scaling triangle. I don't prefer that here, it's not necessary. All we need to just know is the formula to calculate what? The perimeter or the side. Alright, so this is a triangle. Let's just draw a triangle. Let's call it A, B, C. So uh, let me assume that here is uh, smaller than C. Here is smaller than B, this opposite side is smaller than A. So perimeter of triangle, perimeter is equal to what? Add up the sides together. Let's say side what? A plus side B plus what? Side C. It's very, very simple. It's very, very simple to find. Let's take example 3 now. Example 3. Find, find the perimeter of the triangle of the triangle below. So let me draw the, the triangular shape. This is the triangle. We call here 5 cm. Let's here represent 7 cm. Then, of course, here 4 cm. So we are asked to find the perimeter of what? This triangle. All you need to do is just to add up what? All the sides. Perimeter means to sum up what all the sides. Are you getting me? Perimeter means to add up what all the sides. Alright. 
So solution, solution to so perimeter of this shape triangle becomes add up all the side together. That's the problem. Four centimeter plus seven centimeter plus five centimeter. All right. So class, uh, let us start from the back. Five plus seven give us how many? Give us twelve. I mean there. So then twelve plus four we have what? We have 16. Okay, you are following me. So the perimeter is what? 16 what? Centimeter. So the perimeter of the triangle above is what? 16 centimeter. Hope you are following the mass. Just see this one. Not this one not this. Then we take another shape, which is um, trigazium. We also have pyrogram. We also have uh, circle. But uh, over the years, if you go through your textbook and the original work, question paper, you see that the shape that they constitute mostly um, is a uh, rectangle or then of course circle. So let's cut it off a circle. So circle, let's talk about circle. This is a circle. Alright, this is a circle. And this, the line that runs through the circle, this line, this line runs through, is called the what? The circumference. It's called the what? The circumference. We call it the what? Circumference. Another word for circumference is also called what? The perimeter. Are you following the class? It's alright. So we call it circumference or we call it what? Perimeter. So the perimeter of a circle, let's say the perimeter of a circle, P is a perimeter, equals to what? 2 pi r. Or you can say perimeter equals to what? Pi d. Our R is on the radius. Look at the circle. If I should divide the circle into two equal parts now, a line that divides a circle into two equal parts, two equal half, we call it what? The diameter. Call it what? Diameter. Now, half of this diameter, let me draw my circle. Half of this diameter, we from the center of the circle. Down to the circumference, we call it what? The radius. Are you getting it? So, radius means half of what? Diameter. Don't forget, by the time the review question, the question is diameter. And you have to this formula, you have to convert what? Uh, diameter to radius. That is, the relationship between radius and diameter is radius equals to what? Diameter, diameter divided by what? Divided by 2. So, this is the formula for what? Perimeter of the circle. P equals to 2 pi r. Or P equals to what? Pi d. Like I said earlier, perimeter and the circumference is the same thing. say circumference equals to 2 pi what? r. Or circumference equals to what? Pi what? D. Circumference and perimeter, they are what? The same thing. Alright, our unit is always in the centimeter, uh, millimeter, or what? Meter. So let's take one example of circle. My circle, let's take one example of circle. Now, calculate, calculate, example 3, calculate, calculate the perimeter. Of a circle whose diameter is ten centimeter. Calculate the perimeter of a circle whose diameter is what? Ten centimeter. So if I were you, I will sketch the circle for a circle. This is a circle. They said the diameter that is from year to year is seven centimeter. 10 what? Centimeter. So this is the diameter. So let's say D equals to what? 10 cm. Please. The question is given to us in what? Diameter. So which formula is better? It says find perimeter. This formula for what? Perimeter. As a conference. The question is that you know what? In diameter. This diameter. Watch. Which one has diameter in formula? Is this one? I mean. So by uh, circumference equals to what? Pi G. Perimeter equals to what? Pi G. So you know this one that has diameter. That is this other one. Use this one. So perimeter equal to what? Pi D. Please remember that the value of this pi is always given to us as what? 22 over what? 7. It is what? Constant. At times, I even add to the question that take in bracket. That's it. Take pi equals 22 over what? 7. They can even give you the question. But if they do not give you the question, always know that this pi represents what? 22 over what? 7. Please. You have to take note of uh, that. So, perimeter equals to pi d. 
the perimeter, you cannot apply, apply the percent what to do a seven, it's a constant value, to a seven, times a diameter, a diameter is what, 10 over 1. So, by the time you multiply this, 22 times 10, you have what, 220 over what, 7. If you should divide it, your answer will be what, in decimal, so, perimeter, 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 is the result of dividing what? 22 by what? 7. You can try that using your longer division. Okay, let's say this long division uh, 2207. How many 7 are there in 22? Because I'm in 3. Are you following me? Because 7 times 21. So put 3 here. Then 3 times 7 is what? 21. You do what? Subtract. Here we have a what? You have a 0. Here we have a what? 1. There you go again. How many seven? Now, so we have what? Three here. Then, can seven divide three? It's not what possible. Because seven is bigger than what? Three. So, what we do? We add what? Point here. Add another what? Zero. So, how many seven? And then 30. We have a four. Because seven times four is 28. Remember what? To draw it to. So, we put the four here. Four times seven is what? 28. By the time you subtract, you have what? 2. By the time you doing it, you have in decimal number there. So let's just take this one as what? 31.4 what? Four, four what? centimeter. Because the question here is in centimeter. That is meter. Two what? Meter. Alright, so that is the end of the example. For what? For circle. So we have taken uh, up to three examples from the middle of uh, lectures. Look at following the class. You have to follow. Now, for trapezium and parallelogram, I want to show you something so that when you are practicing, you know what to do. For trapezium, this is the trapezium. For trapezium, this is the shape of trapezium. Trapezium is a rectangle and a rectangle triangle combined together. We have a rectangle, we have a rectangle triangle combined together. We have what here? Trapezium. So let's call here A, B, C, D. It's actually what? Four sides. So if this side, side A, B, let's call it M, B, C, let's call it M, C, D, O, then here side P. To so get the perimeter of the shape, perimeter, perimeter, because what? Add side AB plus side what? BC plus CD, our CD plus what? Plus DA. That is side AB, we use them to represent it. Then BC is N, CD is O, and DA is what? P. Whatever value they give to you, it could be like this. Let us say, let me ask you if it's a question. They can say find the period of this shape. They put 3 here, put 4 here. Put five here, put six. Calculate all of them together. Just say three plus four plus five plus six equals the what? The perimeter. So that's how to solve for trapezium. Then parallelogram. You can use like what? Um, a rectangle, but it is bent. This is what? Parallelogram. Para what? Lelogram. This shape of parallelogram is of this shape. This. It is what? It's like a bent rectangle. The parallel sides. They are what? Equal this side and this side are equal. So, so this side and this side are what? They are equal. Alright, so the perimeter is similar to that of a um, rectangle. They are the same thing. They are what? The same. So, here is the length. Here is the length. Here is the breadth or the width. Here is the breadth or the width rather. So, perimeter is equal to what? Add them together. Length plus length plus breadth plus what? Breadth. Everything here. They give you 2L plus what? Two breadth. Factorize two is common here. Take two aside. Becomes length plus what? Breadth. So that is the same for the formula. I say length. Perimeter equal to what? Two bracket what? Length plus what? Width. For parallelogram. Alright, so there's what I want you to know before I will rest my case. There are some questions you will see when practicing your assignment, your textbook. They might just draw a shape like this. They will say, find the perimeter of the shape below. Let, let me say this is what? Um, 
Let me call this one a trapezium. I saw this trapezium because the right angle triangle, yeah, 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 for this. I saw for trapezium. Now, they will just say, find the perimeter of the shape below or above, rather. They will just put 5 cm here. They can easily put, let's say, 20 cm here. Then they will just put here 7 cm. And you know that perimeter, you have to sum up all the side. Common sense will tell you that this side and this side, they are what? Equal. Whenever I see this line, like this little slash, this line, like, it means this side and this side equal. So, whatever value you have here, will be what? Equivalent to the value that you put here. So, use your common sense. Since they have said there is 7, so, so yes, also what? 7 cm. You now plus every together. So 5 plus 7 plus 20 plus this. I get it. If you're not giving this 7, just know that this place is what? 7. Even in a rectangle, it's the same thing. If you put 5 here, put here, dash, maybe let's say it's 10. Know that this side is 10. Yes, what? 5. They can just draw the shape anyhow. Hope you are following me. So take note of what I just said. It could be a triangle. You can say here and here, they are equal. Put here 15 cm. Maybe here is 7 cm. If here is 7, know that this other line. It's also what? 7 cm. You use your hand to write the 7 and calculate the all together. So class, that is all we have for the day. I believe the class uh, was interesting. So please, you have to go to your essential mathematics and practice. Because I'm going to back it to Sister's matter. <laughs> practice, exercise, your essential math exercise 17.2. Solve question 1 to 5. Question 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll see you next week, um, Monday, for area of what this place is. So I threw it for perimeter. Study all these things intensively. Goodbye, class.